Greg is a chala famous farmer in Sussex County and I have a store also in Sussex County. He owns the big farm in Sussex County. Sussex County law, he grows vegetables, fruits, everything with the organic, you know, with the black soil. Yes. This is called a black dirt. He say he grow from the black dirt. I'm very happy. I am a farmer myself. And I am a, my farmer friend with me. My day go by so beautiful, so fun, so energetic. And I never miss India. And uh, Mr. Gleg, this Making kind of this country, this kind like of it. planting is a Lenny Lenape planting. Lenny Lenape were the first people here. Of course, the white people thought they were in India, so they called them Indians, but they're Native Americans. And in this area, they were the Lenny Lenape, and they lived here for tens of thousands of years. And this is the style that they planted, and it's called the Three Sisters in their language. And the Three Sisters are corn here, beans which are growing in here, and then squash. squash. And so what happens is the beans climb up the corn and the squash covers for the weeds. But those three foods together give you all the amino acids that you need for good nutrition. And somehow they knew that through traditional planting and wisdom. And so that's what we're doing here. One of our community members is a Lenny Lenape tribesman. He comes here, we're growing tobacco that's thousands of years old in another plot. And all of these seeds are Lenny Lenape seeds from thousands of years ago. And he speaks the languages and he language and he makes prayers in the Lenape language here. And so that's part of what we do. Okay. So Greg, that's a that's a okay. That's a great to know, Mr. Greg. And I'm so impressed and so proud. And these are like a we believe same thing in Indians, you know, our in Indian tradition, we believe same type of things. The, the way we grow same thing in our backyards, as you say, like a corn and the beans and the squash. Everything we grow same thing. And the few things you told me, I'm so impressed. And you are telling about these like a, like a more like a, you know, Ayurvedic medicine and, you know, natural medicine. And uh, this modern medicine, nothing to do. But these yes. things, if you learn, if you believe, you can treat yourself. Well, let's go to the medicine wheel. We have a medicine garden. Good. Next let's stop. Go. Thank Next you. Next stop. So this is called an Eye of God weaving. And this is a really big one with bamboo. And this was just made by um, some women who had a retreat here, a, a mother-daughter retreat. And, and all women were here camping out. You can see we have many campsites. And we mow oh, a little area. But then there's yeah. privacy. So you can't see that tent. We leave some pollinating um, wild plants in between. Okay. In India, no matter where you go in the world, it's a tradition, culture is the same thing. As you told, we have a, in India is a tribal festival. It's called a Samakka Sarakka Jatra. Just like this, we believe, by bless of Samakka Sarakka Jatra, the tribal people, they live in the forest. Everybody happy, healthy, and the rich. So the, the God, goddess bless the bless them bless us wherever you are if you remember them you pray you imagine same thing it's like a samaka saraka thank you welcome this this is the part of the medicine wheel this is a a wheel you can see it has many pathways in much like the wheel in the center of the Indian, Indian flag, flag. Yeah, yes sir exactly you know and this is all Ayurvedic medicine and herbal medicine and also all of these rows in this area are medicine. Here was just planted the Lenape tobacco that I spoke about. This what is, is what is the tobacco? This, this one? is this is tobacco, and this is dried and burned for ceremony from the Lenape, uh -huh. the original original seeds. Nice man. And this uh, these here are mullen. You can see these are mullen leaves. It's the one that's fuzzy. You can also smoke that. That's a uh, that's an herb. You can make uh, tinctures out of it. And I, I don't have so much knowledge about the medicine, but there are people here who do Ayurvedic medicine, herbal medicine. They make tinctures, teas, all of those sorts of things that are good for the body and the mind and the spirit. You're talking about Tulasi. When you say Tulasi, it clicked in my mind. Tulasi tree in every temple in India. So Tulasi tree is a way, is, if you tree is in your house, you have a peace of mind, good health and happiness is calm down and we de we in india we eat every day one tulasi leaf Thanks. we eat that leaf Thanks. and you get a good sleep if you have a pain go away it's a natural medicine yeah 
and uh, I'm very glad to hear when you say Tulasi Tulasi tree. I feel so happy. You want to see where where yes, they are? Yes, we are going to see the Tulasi tree now. I gotta show them this real quick. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 61. Oh, 61. 20. 22,180 days. Okay, fine. So, <laughs> since how long you are doing this farming? So, how long you you will you'll be here? Under I, the week. I've been a farmer, a uh, professional plantsman, okay. I say, rather than just a farmer. Uh -huh. Yeah, I could see because uh, there are a lot of uh, flowers, a uh, lot of vegetables, a lot, lot of medicinal the plants so, I could see. So yeah. horticulture covers all of the arts, agriculture and floriculture and so I've so ever since I'm 14. So Yes, because when years. I came here I feel I am in India, so not in America because I could see all the flowers, yeah, so all the vegetables, all the like plants I'm seeing. So I'm very happy coming here and meeting you such a wonderful guy. <laughs> so apart from this what do you do? My my pay work, my job, I teach, uh, I co-run uh, horticultural therapy and vocational training in a school for autistic students. Such a wonderful profession you have and even though you are doing a farming, it's a very wonderful fall. So it is very nice to meet you. And you, thank you. Yeah, it thank is, you it's much. good, yeah, it's good work. India. You see this here we call a, uh, a bean wigwam. A wigwam is what the native people of this area, the Lenape, lived in. And so this is in that style. They didn't build it of bamboo, of course. They built it of the local sticks. And now we have bean plants that were planted at the base. Yeah. And we have a nice little... Um, irrigation here where we can fill that yeah, with water. Yeah, we call it Nila Kalua. And then <laughs> we have green beans here. Oh, nice beans. Man. Very so nutritious. Nice, man. See yeah. this? Nice shade. Nice shade. And pretty nice, soon like it will India, all man. be covered. You know? No no chemicals. No sprays. We pull all the weeds. The fresh organic beans I'm yeah. eating. This organic and corn. a lot of these weeds are actually edible. This is edible? This is lamb's quarter. This you can eat. Yeah? All this. Yep. I need it, bro. No chemicals, huh? No, no chemicals anywhere here. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm doing farming here too. Yes, sir. What else we need, man? This is a life. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. And we're doing all the organic. If anybody comes to this area, you get a... Whatever you have a disease is gone. Whatever you have a mental problem is gone. Yes. You come here, you go with a lot of energy. You find peace. Peace and love. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. We also have onions and garlic. I don't know if you're interested in, we have beets and chard. I have a little list by the uh, gate there. Mm -hmm. Beets. This is our expansion field, so we have that main garden, and we have many, many acres that are unworked. So this year, me and my friends, my brother, are growing this side, only with straw for weed protection, so there's lots of weeds. And then on the left side here, this is a retired man named Franco from Sicily, and he grows this side. Uh, you can see I have zucchinis here. I have some melons growing, some watermelons. Nothing too big yet. Here's one. So we'll wait for this to grow. Nice melon, watermelon here. And this is zucchini in here. I harvested most of this already. Some people like to eat the zucchini flower. We have those and yellow squash. Cabbages, tomatoes. These are cucumbers growing. We have tomatoes and peppers as well. And then this whole side, this is Franco from Sicily. He's a very, very good farmer, and he's growing all kinds of different things on climbing, fences, and everything else like that. And uh, all organic as well. These are broccoli, you can see. He's growing broccoli. Some of them don't work out. That's organic. That's okay. We give that to nature, mm -hmm. and then we take the rest. So that's, um, that's the expansion field. These are Romanesque beans. 
and um, it's a beautiful place to be and a beautiful place to volunteer and come together with other community members. You have everything, what not? You have broccoli, tomato, beans, everything. So it's a very nice place, Greg. So we like the diversity because you never know how the season will yeah. be, what bugs will come, what animals will come. Some things fail and some things grow. And you invest in the things that are growing, doing well. Yeah. I've been and you learn, you learn the whole time and you talk to other elders and you get to learn about the land and about growing food. You get to take the food and give it to your friends, welcome them to a meal. We can also sell some of it and pay for these property taxes and pay for this maintenance. I want to thank you so much for coming, brother. Thanks for coming to Earthman Farm. You can find us at earthmanfarm.org online or earthmanfarm.org on Instagram. And I want to thank R9 News for coming. Subscribe to R9 News. These guys are all over the place finding the coolest stuff. They found us, Earthman Farm, and follow them. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Greg, actual guy. Uh, job just say so you may get millions of sa uh, dollars salary. Kani then neuroscience lo post graduation cheshadu gabati. I na interest to passion to e farming anta jaise